<laughs> is that time again to see some more open homes with Josephine Kinsella from Mike Pirro Real Estate. And you've got some seriously jaw-dropping goodness today for us. We had so much fun selecting these properties this week and uh, we've got quite a lineup. Okay, so let's start in Lee and Rodney. So, um, you know, this place we always love visiting and Cape Rodney Road is a spectacular property. Um, you have 306 oh, square metres of just exquisite construction here. So Big house. A big house, great position. And uh, if you've got a, a spare, around about two million, this is going to get you certainly a designer home oh, with sold. a lot of flair. <laughs> I thought it might be one for you, Mike. So complete with your own veggie garden. Oh, that's all I want. Look Just at that. Two sinks. Cliff top his position. Sinks. Yeah, it, it's, it looks sensational oh. property. And um, of course, oh. American oak flooring. Um, a lot of great designer flair here and the position is just spectacular. Oh, stunning. You could get your um, ride-on mower if you've got that place, oh, no, That's all I want, a property where I have to use a ride-on mower. <laughs> You'd I'll need work it with, three, with over three hectares. Okay, nice. So that would be perfect. <laughs> okay, sign me up. Sign okay. <laughs> um, no, beautiful house. Uh, let's continue that theme of heading sort of north Auckland area. We're off to Puhoi. So Puhoi. Now this has got a little bit of a story. Uh, of course, um, some of us will remember Jim Hickey, the old um, weatherman. Well, not the old I weatherman. The old oh, weatherman. Wash your mouth out. <laughs> um, so, um, of course, 30 minutes from Auckland, we've got the historic village of Puhoi, and Jim Hickey had this property built um, for him, so he could um, remember a bit of Taranaki, where he's originally from. So um, it was uh, styled on the original Herwith Cottage, and it is sensational, with an acre uh, of land right by the Puhoi River, and um, at 1.375, um, it's a sensational buy I think. It's a lot of land with some real character. It's got a sensational loft uh, apartment attached to it and just yeah really quaint and quite special. Looks nice. like it's got some actually beautiful gardens attached yeah, to it too. Yeah. Really nice. nice. Well, and, and, and nice tribute to Jim too. I wouldn't yeah. mind living in a house that Jim yeah. once built. Yeah. So let's head to Oriwa. So Oriwa, um, this is an apartment. So um, if you're looking for a bit more of the low maintenance style living, this represents some great, um, some great buying at one point, around about 1.49. Um, it's a three bedroom apartment. You've got superior views here. Um, you know, if you know, familiar with Oriwa, it's a spectacular beach. Mm. Um, quality fittings throughout, and it really is one of those lock up and leave properties for the, you know, the discerning traveller, or perhaps you just, you just want to enjoy life a bit more and make the most of that beach that's out there. Just a short stroll away. Fantastic property so far. Okay, let's keep the theme going. We're heading over to the Tauranga area and concentrating on Bethlehem. So Bethlehem, and again, this is a special suburb. We have um, in this property 500 square metres of property, all day sun, north facing. It's a designer over um, level over oh. three three levels. Um, spectacular facilities. You've got a butler's pantry. Oh, yeah. um, everything you could possibly imagine in this property and uh, at around about 1.9 million um, in Bethlehem which is a very popular location mm. for, for families and schooling um, it has sw um, you know sweeping breathtaking views across the there you go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's magnificent. That is actually a lot of house for 1.9 in a growing market Shoot, as well. Room for the boat, the jet ski, oh. the trailer, you name it. I have, I would, it's my dream to live in a house that's got a butler's pantry. It really is. Uh, so let's head to Christchurch, Fendleton. Okay, so um, if a butler's pantry is um, your dream, I think this one's got a uh, chef's paradise for you. So with 356 square metres of luxury wow. living, um, around about, um, now this originally was marketed at 2.6 million. The price is now dropped and we are looking for around about 1.9 million. Um, it's in the heart of Fendleton. It's sensational. That was your butler's pantry there. And, uh, that was and a butler's pantry. <laughs> that was your butler's pantry. Bigger than my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so this has, you know, this home's been really specially engineered and crafted for the discerning buyer. And in Fendleton, we all know what a special sub, um, uh, suburbs Fendleton is in Christchurch. It, it is spectacular. Fantastic. It looks absolutely beautiful. So, Oh, there it is from the outside from another angle. Mm. Oh, sunny position. Love Swoon. it. Now, Mike Perrow are always doing great things for our communities as well. Um, now, this week, you wanted to share a short story about Jack Lovett-Hurst. Yeah, so um, Jack Lovett-Hurst, he has a dream. In 2015, he decided his dream um, would be to go and do the New York Marathon. Um, but, of course, um, his disability requires a, a lot of um, attention and training. And then we are there. We've um, kind Kindly um, given him a grant of two thousand dollars towards his dream, and there is um, a, a facility online at the moment where you can um, donate um, 
donations for Jack to make his dream come true on the Give a Little page. So he's been selected of one of three um, applicants that can take his um, wheelchair bike um, to uh, New York. So um, you know he's met the criteria. His stepfather's um, training him, and it's it's just one of those dreams that we want to make tr um, come true. So wow. we've put a little bit in, and we're hoping that New Zealand will um, will help him achieve his dream. Nice work, um, and and good on Mike Pirro for you know stepping up and um, helping his dreams come true. The challenge is there, New Zealand. If you can go to the Give a Little page and help him out as well. Thank you very much, Josephine, and happy birthday yeah, for you. Wednesday as yeah, well. Happy yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Okay, the cake's coming later. Any of the properties you've seen today can be found at mikepiero.com. We will catch up with Josephine again next week.